today's is I'm going to be uh, introduced to how can we uh, install this our own some K80s or Kubernetes labs or your own in the, your laptop or whatever is a PC, something like this, your personal device. So first of all, we need to download this. Yeah, see that the page, the page is the, my GitHub. So GitHub, this is net for the admin and project is DevOps. So you are trying to be download or something other, other way to download or whatever you can be do. Anyhow, I prefer to use that the Windows system. So anyhow, yeah, it's already download and then see it need to be extract. So well, 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 I'm going to be extract to yeah, hash curve. Yeah, because I prefer to use that the hash curve for most of the time. So yeah, has scope directory exist here. So we're gonna be using the single master. So the the second one is the multiple masters. Yeah, Kuba spray this. So you can be used that, but today is I'm gonna I'm not use that the one. So yeah, some days later, but not today. So and we are already download and then see that the page, and there is a background file and configure install package or whatever they use that the background. So yeah. Is prepared already, so we are gonna be to the, the just background up to use that, that this file and make um, uh, our own the purpose that the uh, Kubernetes left. Okay, I am already moving to the hash copy directory uh, and see that the inside is there is the downloaded directory and extract it's number one and then kads dash that single master. So we move it to there. And then uh, see that there's a menu of the file is over there. It's the background and master install config whatever. So, it's, it's, so the background file is used that does other things and the makers built on yours lab. So I'm gonna use that the background up and build up the own lab. Okay, your personal lab is this install is done. So we're gonna be contact to you. That's the master node. So background to SSH and M dash K eight X. So it's gonna be connect to the background user, and password is the background. Yes, password is background. Yes, connected. And ID is a background, and the screen is a too small. This I think it is somebody cannot see the exactly what the text it is. So I'm gonna be, yeah, extend it. Yeah, 24 maybe is a good way to see that. Yeah, see, good. And I changed that as a look uh, permission because it's easy to and it's really powerful and nothing to care about that, nothing to concern. So anyhow, this password the background too. So first of all, I need to check the so Kubernetes this node. So Kuba control get node. It can be see that there's some status. So see anything? The, the, there is this the something really stable connection. So must three one master node and three work node. So and also I would like to see that there's more specific information for the node. Yeah, the IP. Is that here, 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 and uh, some Linux version? Linux version actually does the 7.7, so yeah. And next one, I want to check the pod. The Kubec control, Kubec control get pod. You can see anything, but because it's, I do not provide any kinds of some prisoners, some pod, I'm gonna be it is provided this the uh, nginx is part but not now but there is something is already provided due to it's going to be connection each other some calico cns and then core dns and then it's and then controller proxy blah 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 schedule there is this, the mandatory this installation for the communication each other so it's already provided and if you want to see that there's a more specific this IP address and this you can see that there's some. So, 
And third one is the I'm gonna be provided the nginx path. So kube control created this deployment deploy deployments nginx and the image is that yeah you know nginx yeah created so check resource yeah the currently one is that so but this is very briefly so i don't know what it is so yeah containers creation status uh, maybe approximately this one minute later is uh, the container is provided but then now it's still container creation so we have to be waiting for that or if you want to there's a very one time to see that this you can use the, the watch but i do not want yeah still when created this containers because it's the first initializer containers is the kinds of the initializer status is it gonna be the more time to consume the letter than to the, the the there is something that is already exists as container yeah all the time is the first is really hard to do that I feel like a little worried about this. Uh, I don't know that this, but yeah, it have to work, you know. But the time is just already uh, passed by the, this one minute. Because uh, this network is really slow, so maybe some network is a little bit yeah, poor. Maybe it can be. Yes, yeah, it's on, yeah. I'm a little bit, yeah, stressful, <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, yeah, the part is that published and we can be checked. Anyhow, the output wide. So the IP is that already this, um, yeah, provided by the CIDR. So already I give it to the, the CIDR. Yeah. So provided the success. And I want to scale. Yeah. Because this one provided this is not proper submitting. So yeah. So I'm going to be. Uh, Replicas. How many? Mm, how about that? Uh, 10. Okay, 10. Yeah, scale. And then, the control get RS is working, but this is too small summarizes, so I, I want to see that this the, the part. Yeah. So, container creation and the other container creation already running. Maybe it's not too much time of that. Depends on your system, but my system is really poor, and then just CPU is uh, i3, so it's really you, you think like it's really poor, so that's the reason why this my system is a little slow, but it's really perfectly working and really fast. Yeah, still some containers creation creations. Yeah, it's not done yet. Ready for just full. I do not want to be counting this to my some stuff thing. So yeah, maybe if you want to see that, just summarize this to use the RS better. Yeah, so the change this ready is from four to six. Maybe next is eight. Oh yeah, all of the things done. So. The pod is already running and working properly. The next one, yeah, mm, okay. I want to be the shrink. I want to be reduce this to my container from the 10 to 3. Is it cool? Yeah, how is this working like that? Scale, I want to change it to my scale, 10. Is this it going to be terminating? And if you want to, which, which node is working for, so see it can be this used at the very road balance to uh, apply that or so assign that and then terminations as well so yeah termination is not looks like that yeah only yeah the remain this contain i don't know why but this only the remaining container is just for yeah workers number one it's very weird but
if the mechanism is working. Anyhow, that's the, the remain this container there is only working in yeah, workaraber ill. Workaraber sorry <laughs> system. Yeah, workaraber one. Yeah. And what else? The self healing is really proper and I, I can sure up this other some exposure and uh, road balancing or other something that is very cool or simple performance. But the time is limited and then yeah. I think it is one of the other thing is really good is self healing. Self healing can be make a really uh, powerful for the some Kubernetes. So so I'm going to be contact to you directly uh, this one. Okay? This one and used to be in bash yeah, I'm gonna be this jump in that this container and see that there's some um, nginx is the PID. PID is number one, yeah, because it's provided like that. So I'm gonna be kill this PID and fast to see that that's the completed. So it gonna be yeah raise again, yeah, because it's self healing. Yeah, other thing can be provided as I said, but not today. Yeah, maybe some days later. I'm not sure, but yeah this lab is perfectly working and then i hopefully use that this lab and then uh, improve this to your skill for yeah for yourself or for company yeah thank you